arriving in court hoping to find answers. Mido Masia's cousin Carlos accompanied by his former landlord. Then another delay. It is regretful but this court is involved in another matter. Unfortunately, um, the scheduling uh, of the responsibilities of the court are such that it unfortunately has to be postponed until February next year. The news did not go down well with Masia's family. I'm feeling right, like um, I really don't feel well about this postponement. I feel that they are doing this on papers because Mido is a foreigner and I don't even know how I'm going to inform them back at home in Mozambique. The nine policemen face murder charges. Mido Masia was dragged in full public view in February last year for committing a minor traffic offence. He was later found dead in police cells. He suffered severe head injuries and internal bleeding. It's really painful because he's now in a grave, his children are suffering back home, and we too as a family are also suffering. Yet another snag in this infamous police brutality case. A year on, the Masia family is now closer to answers. The matter will now resume on the 16th of February next year, two years after Masia's death. Mangobam Kunu, SAPC News, Delmas.